Okay, this is going to be a little demonstration of the new Xperia Z and the color accuracy of the screen on the Xperia Z compared to these other phones. I've got an HTC One X over here and an iPhone 5 over here. Um, if you've seen my initial review, uh, I complain a little bit about the color accuracy of the screen and just the color saturation and overall contrast uh, that it shows. Um, this is the Facebook app and uh, we'll bring up some photos here and compare them. I think if you look at the blues in the Facebook bars, you can tell right away that this guy here looks a lot more purple than it should be. Um, definitely a darker blue than the iPhone blue on the HTC, but this is again across Android uh, versus iOS, so there could be a little bit of a difference there. Um, but if so, if you look at these two side by side and compare the colors there, those blues, um, you can see that they're quite a bit different. The other thing you can look at too is if we take a picture that we have some known colors, uh, for example like the sky, we all know the sky is blue, we all know the sky should look blue, so if we rotate this, uh, you can also, I want to point out the reds in my shirt as well. Um, sky looks purple there, sky looks blue on the iPhone, sky looks blue on the HTC, but the red is a lot more saturated on the HTC and a lot desaturated on the Xperia Z. If I had to pick uh, a phone with the most accurate color here, it's definitely the iPhone 5. Um, HTC is good, looks a little bit too saturated. Xperia Z definitely undersaturated, um, and the blues and reds are off. Not enough red, not uh, and the blues more purple. Um, and if we go back, we'll check out another another picture here. We'll scroll down to another shot. Here's a shot with a fish. And again, significant color variation here. Um, washed out for me on the Xperia Z. Also the color angle, like if you look at and see the angles too, the, the viewing angle is a lot different. See, I don't know if you can see that on the Z, it's way less contrasty um, in terms of viewing angle. Like you can see the big, big difference there. Um, so, in my opinion, the screen on this phone isn't all it's cracked up to be. I think Sony should have done a lot better uh, with their screen technology. This reminds me a lot of the Nexus 4, and if you watch my Nexus 4 review, uh, you'll see me complain a bit about the screen there. Um, I think Sony really should have released a phone with a better screen. I don't know why they would they would waste time um, and waste everybody's money and, and energy in producing a phone that's new with technology that's worse than current phones that are on the market. To me, that's uh, pretty silly, but hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, uh, don't forget to check out my other videos on YouTube and rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.